But according to linguists, we're the only people left in the United States who generally still sound like our ancestors. Because if you listen to native-born Southern speakers, the average Southerner tends to sound more like this, what we call this Moonlight Magnolia's drawl. Because if you speed up that Southern drawl, over time it rapidly becomes a British accent. Most people don't realize that people that came here from Europe were largely from the United Kingdom. So when they got here, this was more along the lines of their speaking tones. But that's the first and second generations coming off the boats, not their children. By the third and fourth generations, the kids don't quite sound like mum and dad anymore because they're starting to develop a slight elongation of the way they talk. What's today called the Virginia Tidewater accent. It's not a complete southern drawl because that's a port area. But as you go farther into the southern interior and the years progress, the accent tends to get thicker, deeper, richer by Arkansas, Alabama, Georgia. Heck yeah, you got a full-blown southern drawl. But people don't realize that in most cases in Louisiana, many of the native speakers don't sound like that. They tend to sound like this, I guarantee. Spend around the bayou. Because you speed up that South Louisiana Cajun Creole accent, over time it becomes en français, French. With, of course, certain exceptions in New Orleans, which tend to sound like more like New Yorkers because of the Irish and the Sicilian-Italian influence. So they tend to sound a bit more like this. And people tend to get a little confused because they think, what, you're from New York? Nah, I'm from New Orleans. What?